The first cases of cholera appeared in October 2010, and since then Haiti has had to cope with new outbreaks every year. Vomiting, acute diarrhea, dangerous levels of dehydration, rapid contagion. The disease has become a serious burden on a country where health facilities are already under massive strain. I started to be sick, and when I touched my face with my hand, all I could feel were bones. It was like all my flesh had melted away. People started gathering around me. They brought me a bed. They made me lie down on it so they could carry me. The road was really torturous, and so was my breathing. Cholera is at its height in the rainy season, from May to November. During the 2011 rainy season, MSF treated almost 40,000 patients. Although the epidemic is serious, there is some good news. The mortality rate is decreasing. This is because the care personnel are much better trained than they were to start with, and the population is better informed, more aware. People are now reacting at the first warning sign of diarrhea. So more and more Haitians, like Joseph, are getting treatment in time. I can sit up now, and yesterday I stood up for the first time. I've still got a bit of diarrhea, but I've stopped being sick. Given the recurrent nature of this epidemic, the authorities are inadequately prepared. They clearly took less preventive measures and ensured less medical supplies than last year, obliging MSF to intervene once again. There's been another big change for MSF's teams in the last 12 months. They had been working in tents at St. Louis Hospital since the earthquake, but they packed everything up, dismantled the operating theatres and transported all the patients to the new Drouillard Hospital. We didn't want to spend more than a year in a tent hospital, although it actually turned out to be a pretty good solution. We had very few cases of post-op infections. We were expecting more asepsis problems, but that didn't happen. So tents are good in this kind of situation, but not over the long term. So we had to build a hospital. We've built this hospital to be earthquake resistant. The teams working at Drouillard provide intensive care, medical care, orthopedic and visceral surgery, and treatment for severe burns. They've set up their base near the Cité Soleil slum area because the health needs here are enormous. The Haitians living here are considered to be the most vulnerable in Port-au-Prince. When the first cholera cases were declared in Haiti, no one understood how the disease had reached the island. It had not been recorded there for several decades. The bacteria was, in fact, inadvertently brought to Haiti by a UN battalion from Nepal. As a result, thousands of people have filed for damages from the United Nations. In order to initiate their claims, thousands of former MSF patients have requested medical certificates. There is little hope they'll receive any individual damages. However, when asked, we are legally obliged as a medical organization to provide any patient treated by MSF with a medical certificate. In order to meet demand, all medical files have been centralized and computerized in Port-au-Prince. Given that UN forces have diplomatic immunity, the survivors have little chance of winning their cases.